What's Epic YouTube, Excalibur here. In today's video, we're gonna go over my top five long swords that you should get before the next update of the August. And now, I just wanna let you know, this is console only. Before you PC or Switch users be like, but we're already at the final update, except for the patch notes. So give us a break. And I understand, I understand, but this is now console. This is now console version. But anyways, these are just my opinions and my opinions only. Any valid opinions will comment will be deleted regardless. So without further ado, let's get started. At number 5, the Kamora Legacy. My favorite longsword. Base 290 raw attack and, and its sharpness is very big. Huge white sharpness and it can go handicraft any time to achieve that purple sharpness. Its affinity is 40, which is uh, which is tied among uh, with the Narcococo Longsword as the second highest affinity in the game, only behind by five by Shigaru Magalas's Great Sword. Its slots are three. It has one three slots and a Great Rampage slot at level two. Oh, so how you would build this one up? Uh, just increase the raw attack and then elements at the end, and then it will be. He great to go. <laughs> Expect to be more stronger in the upcoming updates. But what's better than the Kimura Legacy? At number four, the Desperate Roar Plus. Yes, it's Tiger X. We all hate Tiger X. We ha it has a base roll of 350 raw attack. Ew, the highest non-elemental weapon in the game. However, its sharpness can reach up the purple, but as you can tell, that purple sharpness is not going to last. So how do you make it to last it that long? Master's Touch, Razor Sharp, that's pretty much what you need. need. Affinity is negative 15, but it's manageable. Add Tannerize to it. it. It has no slots, but it has a great level 2 Rampage slot. So what? But you might ask, what's better than this weapon? At number 3, the Abyssal Flicker. It has the attack power of 340, and its sharpness is extremely big. Actually, the longest purple sharpness in the game. However, its element is very low. You're talking about a 19 dragon element. And its affinity is negative 25, but that's not a problem. And all you need to do is add tenderize, or an added bonus trick. Why not just have <laughs> latent power with it, aka and throttle with it? to add insult to injury with this one it has no slots but it has a rampage slots of level three which is highly recommend to have you to have the kushla deor gem him so that way every time you hit the monster you gain affinity and that would reduce the affinity the amount every time you hit the monster from negative 25 to approximately negative 10. So you're still negative uh, 10 below, but when you add Tenderizer or Throttle or even or even other critical options, it gets higher. But what's but what's better than the Abyssal Flicker? At number two, the Imperial Flicker Flame, 330 base uh, raw attack. Its sharpness is at white, but it can go to purple sharpness anytime. I mean, its element is the highest, uh, coming in. Yeah, with a level blast of 60, it has a 1 2 slot and a level 2 rampage slot, which is great because you can actually apply a status trigger with this weapon and then you apply that one with the Teoster Soul and then let the go, let the weapon go boom, 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 or you should say you know, those blast weapons go brrrr. Yeah, with status trigger, just be sure you get that status trigger. Otherwise, it's it's rarely just gonna pull off any explosion. But what is number one? I'm gonna give uh, both the honor mentions goes to the Katis Helm and the uh, Wyvern Blade Luna. Let's start out with Wyvern Blade Luna. It has a large white sharpness, his with 39 poison and an extra 10 affinity. He it's it has a one one three slot decoration and a level two who rampage slot. His raw attack is 330. Yeah, this is what most people use, I expected. 
<laughs> How about added uh, some foray uh, to add insult to injury? <laughs> How about tenderized crit boost? Foray is also good with the uh, weapon because it because it also increases attack or uh, and affinity you know, as long as the monster is afflicted with either paralyze, poison, and or other you know, or other blights afflicted to the monster. And we also got to give shoutouts to Katis. Yeah, base 300 uh, raw attack. It, it has a guaranteed sharpness of purple, but however, the sharpness of a purple it doesn't last long. Uh, even with handicraft with it. Yeah, so how do you uh, solve that problem? Why not just add sharpness boost to it? Yeah, it has it has two one slots and a big one four slot. And his rampage slot is a three slaughter. Just simply add day or gym with it, and you'll be good to go with this one. <clears throat> with the wyvern blade, it is basically anything, unless you wanted to have Magna uh, Magna soul with it. But now, out of all these two runner-ups, or the honorable mention weapons, and the runner-up goes to the Imperial Flicker Flame. What is the actual best? And number one. The Chaos and Lao, no surprise. 330 base raw attack, it has a large white sharpness, and a dragon element of 42. It has a negative 30 affinity, but depending on your level of your bloodlust, if you manage to beat the frenzy, you actually gain a whole lot of affinity. It's not, it's not up to 15%, it's based off of your bloodlust level. Huh. And it has a 1 1 slot uh, decoration and a 1 3 slot decoration. And this rampage slot is level 2. Ooh. Now, by the time it's the next update, it will slap that uh, Volstrax soul after you've beaten the Risen uh, Volstrax and even Risen uh, Shag Shigaru Magala. And it will show its true form. <laughs> Trust me, the next update is this weapon, in my opinion, will be king of that weapon. And, and and that is pretty much all of the long swords that I favoritismly made, or not favoritismly made, in my opinion, are my top long swords in the game. Next time, it will be great swords. It's alright. See you guys next time. Laters.